Hello guys, my name is Nilo, and today I'm going to be talking about the Runcam Night Eagle HD. It's a black and white camera, features night vision, it uh, records at 720p, 60 frames per second. The drone that we're going to be using is the Cinebot 30, and it has the LED installed. We're going to be conducting three different tests today. The first one is going to be with the Cinebot LED light, which um, creates a pretty strong glow and enhances the night vision, makes it a lot more visible, as we can see here in this video that's playing. Test number two is going to be with no LED, just relying entirely on the night vision um, from the run cam. And test number three is going to be with infrared light that I've attached to the drone. And at the end of the video, we're also going to be doing a battery comparison test between a couple batteries. Here's the only short clip that I was able to capture with the uh, lights turned off and just completely relying on the night vision from the Night Eagle. It still looks pretty good. Um, you can still make everything out pretty good. I mean, there is a little bit of light from the street lights around the area, but my backyard here on the other side of the fence, you can't really see anything with your with just your regular eye vision. We're going to continue to do a couple more flights with the Gepar C lights, and then we're going to move forward to the fun part where we install the infrared light and do some stealth mode flying. Uh, as well as talking about the different batteries, which are the high voltage competition to the regular batteries that we're used to using on these 6S drones. Um, one of them is the 1100 high voltage, uh, the other one is going to be the 1700 high voltage, and then we're going to compare those two to the 1300 um, regular voltage uh, 6S battery. Okay guys, so here is the setup that we started with um, on our first test for the infrared. Um, we just had to put a little mount together and attach an infrared flashlight to it um, right on top. Right now I'm about to swap to my second pack. Let's see. We're doing the flight test, and so far it's amazing. The light is unbelievable. Let's see. We are flying in total darkness and this is my vision. Zero light, just the infrared light that's attached to the ground.
can see me, like we're emitting the camera is uh, on my iPhone is emitting some type of infrared flashing thing. If you guys in the comment section know what that's about, please let me know. But yeah, the view is amazing, honestly. So now I'm gonna fly deep into the dark and then I'm gonna turn on my lights. My my actual like visible light that keep an action too. Oh my yeah I can see a, a little bit, I can see a dot. What about now? I can see it a lot. You can see a lot? Yeah, like a lot. Can the video see it pretty good? Yeah. I've turned on my uh, Gecko C lights. To be honest, I don't think that's kind of different. Like, I almost feel like with the infrared lights, the lights aren't necessary. Alright, we're at 22.2. This is our fly, fly back temperature. Oh. What am I talking about over here? My fly back uh, battery voltage. Uh, should I do it? and let me turn on the lights so we can see what's going on but yeah this is the current setup so we got on the 3d printer and we quickly put this little box together to receive the the chip and the led for the infrared we're able to get rid of all these things here this is the heaviest this is yeah this is actually pretty heavy i think this is about as heavy as this if not heavier because it has a switch and stuff in it and then this is pretty light i guess it got replaced by this green one but this is the new setup um i was able to get a five volt since this is uh this is three 1.5s it's equivalent to 4.5 most flight controllers have a bunch of five volt outputs 4.5 some some brand new uh, batteries come at 1.6, so it's really 4.8, and 4.8 5 volts is not too big of a difference. Um, these LEDs normally come with a chip that reduces the voltage down to three, anyways. So you're able to do this. I just uh, nicely was able to run a little wire down there, zip tie it to the frame, so it's always there. We can just uh, plug it in and remove it whenever. It's on a, on a little outlet. First, we're gonna test the small battery to the flight time, and then we'll test the bigger battery. All right. You're gonna be on standby for rescue. What, do I just run up with the GoPro? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Welcome to HTX, throttle warning. It's on. Alrighty. Holy moly, dude. That's amazing. Alright. Holy moly, dude. It's so much lighter. Hey guys, just to be clear, this flight is a test of the 1100 milliamp hour 
a high voltage battery which is a lot smaller and lighter than a regular voltage 1100 milliamp battery um, these charge each cell up to 4.35 volts instead of 4.20 volts um, which allows uh, just a much lighter payload so we're gonna go ahead and test this 1100 milliamp hour battery first then we're gonna test the 1700 milliamp hour battery and then we're gonna test a regular non-high voltage 1300 milliamp hour on the third test to compare the flight times can dogs see infrared? Um, I think they have night vision. Yeah, I think they can see, yeah. You think so? You think so? I don't know how dark vision works. I know they can see at night. They have night vision. They have the ability to see at night. Right, I'm gonna bring it back over here so you can record the drone while it's inside, okay? Alright. Yo. Yeah, right. You have a little Manny with you? Yo. And there it is. Yo, turn your flashlight off, Mike. Yeah. It's pretty dark right now, right? Yeah. Is this the little light for the drone? Yeah. Dude, it's unbelievable, bro. You guys can't see the, the the flashlight, right? No. It just looks like a little red dot, right? Yeah. Can you like see the, the red dot? Yeah, I yeah. can see the little red dot, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can see the red dot, yeah. Dude, through, through the night vision, that's a bright ass flashlight. Is it raining again? Or is just the moisture in the air? I think it's moisture in the air because I don't feel it. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, so we're gonna fast forward through this little section and uh, we're gonna try to figure out what the flight time is on this 1100 milliamp hour battery. Alrighty, guys, so we got around five and a half minutes. A fly time off of this 1100 with the infrared light, which is not bad at all. This is one of the high voltage 1700, but it is also the same size as the 1300 regular voltage. Mm -hmm. So it's about 30 grams lighter as well. So we're gonna go ahead and test it. And it's powering the infrared as well, so. A little goofy looking, but it'll do. The camera that we are using to record here by my front door is the DJI Action 4 and um it's a competition of the gopro 12 so it's a top of the line camera it's got decent night vision but as you can see the light is just non-existent it's just completely dark here right now the street lights do help a little bit i do want to mention um those spotlights that you see around the edge of the property are all invisible to the human eye as well those are security camera infrared lights so uh, even though it seems like the whole house is lit up on the outside, to the human eye it's actually not lit up at all. So on this flight we were able to get around seven and a half minutes of flight time with a 1700 milliamp hour battery, which is pretty good. I think these batteries can be flown to a much lower voltage, but until I confirm that, I'm not going to test it out. Here we are testing the 1300 
milliamp hour battery, regular voltage FIFO. Oh, he's getting me. Yeah. Woo. Oh, that was sick. 
Nice. Now we have satellites, light, everything. Oh, there's a dog over there. <laughs> Damn. Holy shit! Holy shit, bro, you're not gonna. What? A bug with antlers. Really? Where? 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 Bro, it's on video, don't worry, I'll show you. Okay? Alright. Bro, my heart is coming out of my chest, bro.